Alright, what's up, y'all? Um, I just wanna I wanna cover a topic of like appendix carry right now. You cannot go on a on a gun group or a Facebook forum and post something related to appendix carry without hearing a slew of stupid misconceptions regarding the appendix carry. I posted something on Sunday, and man, I got a ton of negative feedback about appendix carry, and a lot of it is just from stupid misconceptions. First off, a lot of people are asking what I carry. Glock 19 in a Raven Concealment Eidolon holster. Um, this holster is new, it came out in January, and it's taken over the plastic holster market. Um, this is injection molding, it's not Kydex, that's why I didn't say Kydex. So, this holster, every aspect of this holster is adjustable and changeable. You got your belt claw, there comes with two belt claws, one angled up, one angled down. You got your wedge got two screws on it you can take it off you can leave it on these belt loops you got six holes on this side where you can raise and lower it this one you only got the three that it that is in the belt clip but still it's a lot of option you have when it comes to ride height I used to have mine when I first got this I used to have it riding real high I didn't like that I didn't feel like it was real secure so I sunk it low then the grip of the gun was riding right next to my belt so I couldn't get a good grip. So you can look in here, what I did was I offset them. So on this side, I got more sunk into the waistband on the slide side, but the grip side is angled up more. So when I put this inside my waistband, you'll be able to see that the slide is sunk down and angled down, and the grip is up. It gives me a good grip, it gives me a good secure firm feel. Before I was carrying this, I carried in the Leatherneck Tactical holster. Um, I actually got it because of Ike Stevens review on it. He's a really good gun guy. He's very smart. Makes good videos. Go check him out. But what I didn't put, I didn't put two and two together. Ike's a lot smaller than me. I got some extra baggage here. So that holster worked for him, but it didn't work for me. This holster. What's great about this holster is you can make this holster work for you. You can build it to work for you. No other holster gives you the options that this holster gives you. And I say, what is up with that wedge and that claw? What this wedge does is as your body sits against the wedge, it pushes the grip in. Your belt loops come around, or your belt comes around the loops and hits this claw and pushes your grip in. So it gives you a firm, secure feeling against the body. Now let's tackle some of these misconceptions. And a lot of these misconceptions, um, and issues people have with appendix carry um, can be tackled and addressed with this holster. So people say, can big guys carry appendix carry? Yes, they can. I'm living proof. I used to be bigger. I've lost about 10 or 15 pounds since carrying with this holster. So I used to be even bigger, and this, comes, and this holster was still comfortable. Go on YouTube, go on the internet, and you can see a plethora of videos of big guys carrying appendix, and they do it good, they do it right, and they're comfortable. Can you sit? This holster, the way I have this holster set up, I have two clips on here. Why? Because I like it to be more secure in my waistband. I don't want it moving around. John from Active Self Protection, he posted a really good video on appendix carry. He's a bigger guy. He said he wants one belt loop because he likes his gun to move around. I don't. With this holster, you've got that option. You can go with one, you can go with two, you can adjust it and move it around how you want. You can't do that with other holsters. So I have this holster sitting so it doesn't move. As I go to sit and stand up, that holster stays in position. So if you take the holster off, just hold it up against your body. See, it's not digging into anything. And as I go to sit, it stays in that position. It's not digging into anything. You can see it just naturally, comfortably sitting against my body. A problem I had when I carried strong side was when you go to sit in a seat, especially driving, you're practically sitting on your gun. Your gun is right up against your backrest of your chair and it's digging into your back. I didn't like that. Um, so yes, you can comfortably sit down with a Penix carry holster, even if you're bigger. Um, another misconception is you're gonna shoot yourself in a junk. Well, I don't know why people are so worried about shooting themselves in a junk carrying a Penix carry. Um, when I first started carrying, 
my goal was to just not shoot myself. Um, I don't want to shoot myself in the butt, in the leg, in the major artery in my leg. I don't want to shoot myself anywhere. When you carry appendix carry, one major advantage you have over strong side is I have the ability, when I go to put my gun away in my holster, I can look straight down in my holster. I can see that my holster is perfectly clear. Now, a lot of people will tell you when you carry appendix carry, when you put your holster away, or put your gun into your holster, take your holster off, put the gun into the holster, put the holster on. I don't necessarily do that, especially when you go to the range, because that can get rather annoying. So, this gives you an advantage of I can look straight down in my holster and see it's clear. If I'm wearing a jacket, I can see my drawstrings and my zipper is out of the holster. You can go online and see a load of videos of people shooting themselves in the leg. So, strong side carry is not any more safe than appendix carry. If anything, I say appendix carry is even more safe. Let's talk about the draw. When you go to draw from appendix carry, the moment that holster clears, or gun clears the holster, you're angled out. On top of that, I have a support hand, inches away from my gun, with nothing in between. When you carry strong side, your body is separating your support hand from your hand that's grabbing the weapon, from your strong hand. So giving you some support over here can be more difficult, especially if you're actually in a fight. Now, I don't want to sound too tactical or sound like a keyboard warrior, but why do we carry? We carry to defend ourselves. And if you ever have to defend yourself, it's harder to get more support from your support hand carrying strong side than it is carrying appendix carrier, or carrying appendix. Um, with your draw stroke, between the step of grabbing the gun and drawing and then putting sights on target, you have a lot less room to cover going right here. When you carry strong side, not only is it more room, but you're covering more of your own body. So there's more body that you could potentially flag and potentially accidentally shoot. Now I know if we practice trigger discipline, that'll never happen. Because, I mean, you can't go on YouTube right now and see a plethora of trained cops shooting themselves in a leg. Chief of police, there's, a, there's two videos of a chief of police shooting himself twice in two different situations. The same guy. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not as trained as a chief of police. Uh, so it can happen. It can happen to anyone. I think with appendix carry, your chances of that happening are a lot less because of the way you're carrying and the amount of support you have from both hands. So that misconception that you're going to shoot yourself in appendix carry is dangerous is absolutely a lie from people that don't know what they're talking about and have never actually tried it. Is it comfortable? When I first started carrying a Penix carry, no. It was not comfortable. But I gave it time, and I worked at it, and I got a good holster. Um, so save yourself the money, save yourself the trouble, go get yourself a good holster, especially the Raven Concealment Eidolon. You will not be disappointed, you won't be let down. Check it out, it's only for the Glock right now. Um, I don't know when they're coming out with more models, but I hear they are. Um, so if you're not carrying a Glock, give it time. But check out your the Raven Concealment Eidolon holster. Best holster on the market for appendix carry. Or, like I said, you can even carry this thing strong side if you want. And check them out. Lock on. Carry on, y'all.